We're watching the, uh, the contest between Noshai Moshi Shandor of Hungary and Axel Clerget of France in the under 81 kilo category. There's two minutes and 43 seconds left to go and there's no score yet. And I'm joined now by Nick Kossor of the United States of America. Nick, how are you doing? Fantastic, how are you? Good to see you again. It's always a pleasure seeing you. You've got that growth going, that beard now. <laughs> Since Europe, when? <laughs> yeah, that's uh, two, three weeks. You know, I've been in Europe, gotta go, yeah? gotta go a bit harsh, you know. <laughs> okay, right, because when you get home, um, th there must be a girlfriend at home, I suppose, yeah. you know, so you're going to take that off, I suppose, yeah. She would like it if I did. Yeah. <laughs> right, okay. I may keep it just to annoy her. Right, mm -hmm. we've uh, just seen on uh, mat two, Kamikawa Daiki of Japan throw uh, Majiec Szaniki of Poland for Ippon. So um, Kamikawa goes through. We're um, still showing you the pictures from uh, the Noshai Moshi Kleje fight. Tell me about um, this trip to Europe. When when did it start? When did you come over? Did you start with Paris or start with Paris? Yeah. Um, tell us a little about the Paris venture. How did that go? Who did you who, who did you have draw in the first round? The first round was a Ukrainian fellow uh, Blashenko. Okay. Uh, Ar Ar is it Artem? Artem Blashenko. Yep. Yeah. That's yeah. Right. How did that go? I, I lost. You know, it could have gone better. Um, How? I mean, <laughs> the, 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 yeah, the actual match itself. Uh, I, I was quite, quite tentative. I didn't really bring the fight to my opponent. Yeah, I got a couple of stalling penalties. Have you seen it since then? Have you, have you, have oh. you been able to look at it? Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Not the most pleasant of experiences then. No, nah, but just you know, just trying to do the best to keep it going and you know, learn from the mistakes and just, just keep improving as this goes on. You know, so. what, what about um, the, the the camp? Was there a camp after? Did you stay for that? Oh yeah. Yeah. I, heard, I heard it wasn't that great. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, the, uh, the the attendant facilities and everything, where oh. you had to stay and, and, and oh, stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I don't know. I guess I was just a bit starry at the judo and everything. Okay. I, I had a really, really good training camp. Excellent. So, you know, well, that's, that's good to hear. What about um, the numbers? I mean, there are lots of bodies there to train with. and Yeah, yeah. Plenty of bodies uh, of all different levels. You know, the people who smash you up and, and vice versa, <laughs> you know, so it's good, it's good. Okay, it. and then, and on from Paris, when did, when did you leave Paris? Let's see, we left Paris, I'm going to say Thursday of and this past week. Right, and arrived here, here, here yeah. then? Yeah, on Friday. H how have you found it? Is it, is it a, did, did, have you been to Austria before? This, mm. is, this is my first time in Austria, and right. I'm definitely going to come back. I, I've had a wonderful experience here, like mm. everything has been super convenient, everyone's really nice, just they, they do a good job. I mean, if, if you think about it, this is this is a World Cup, and I'm not, I'm saying just the World Cup only because there are uh, you know above this level, there are Grand Prix, Grand Slams, Continental Union Championships, Masters, World Cha Champions. They all rate above this, so this is like you know level five. Yeah. And look at the quality of the opposition here. Stacks, right? incredible. And 490 people turn up for a single sex competition it's just men only as well there's 490 people here and, here. and of course it, it, it's because it's you know the final run in to uh, the, the, the Olympics there's still a few countries missing still a few countries that, that you know aren't sending full teams but there's enough for a big <laughs> a, a, a big event of did you enjoy it? Were you able to enjoy it? Absolutely, yeah. Like I, personally, I, I think I fought a little bit better this week than I did in Paris. Who did you have? I uh, the Monaco fellow. Um, oh, um, Jan Sicardi. Sicardi, yeah. Uh, that's yeah. a tricky one. Yeah. 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 But this is the kind of level. I mean, I remember. I remember the fight now. This is the kind of guy that that uh, you you need to get past. For sure. You know, For sure. um, and I think you 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 have got the ability to. To, to beat him, this is a nice. That's a nice even match there. Do you, do you know who he had after that? He fought. Uh, I know he, uh, uh, Brendan Dodge. Oh, that's Kevin right. Yeah, Brady. yeah. See, he, he, that was your draw. It was. Yeah. You know, you, you have a look at that draw and you begin to think, I, 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 I can do this. Of course, we're talking about on paper and everything, and it doesn't always work out that way. But um, there's always next week. That's that's the goal. You know, just uh, just kind of scrap this away, have a good training camp here, and move on to the next. You know. It's it's unfortunate that they didn't do here what they did in uh, Paris, which was to take out the uh, the top eight and put them in in another round. So the the, the top eight seeds then are, are, are removed, and you got a much much better shot of getting a better draw. Right, yeah. uh, you know that that's more you know around your your kind of number. 
I was talking to somebody yesterday and they were saying, oh, but I like to have a warm-up fight. What about this guy? He likes to have a warm-up fight as well. Oh, oh you like to have a warm-up yeah, exactly. fight? Just you? Right yeah. Right. And, then, and then he was saying, um, but then, you know, some of these guys, if, if you don't fight until the third round, like the top ones don't fight until the third round, mm. then a guy like you comes in and he's t had two warm-up fights. Right. And I'm thinking, if I'm going to fight somebody and there's the chance of him not having had a fight and me not having had a fight, I want him to have two fights first mm -hmm. because somebody's going to do something to him in one of those two <laughs> fights. The chances are. And if not, and he's got to go 10 minutes on, on, on the mat, I want him to have fought 10 minutes before he fights me and I want to be fresh. Right. And if I need to warm up, I'll warm up in the warm-up area. You know, I'll, I'll have, okay, a, I'll, like the Mongolians yesterday, I saw Dav Dorj and um, who, 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 who was he warming up with? Chimid Yond and Bolbata. Mm -hmm. And they were going crazy with each other, banging, banging away, uh, um, having a, a, a really, really strong battle. And when they called Bolbata, he had a bye. Oh. He, w he wasn't fighting. Well, was and and he knew, saying, right? but he said, I need a warm-up. Right, right. And that's where I'm going to do it. And he went through his routine as though he was going to have the fight, and he had a bye. Mm. You know, so he was, in his, he was in that cycle, he was you know, in the zone maybe. Yep. You know? But yeah, I, I, um, I, I like the idea of, of, of taking out, especially that top 16. 16 seeds get moved out of your way and you can battle it out with, with the greatest of respect, Cameroon or Fiji or Ecuador or somebody. You've got a chance there, you know. You throw those 16 in, in the mix, you've come a long way, you know. You, you want to get out there and fight two or three times in BRC in Paris, you know. Here's the chance. I think that's probably a, 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 way, a way to go. And remember, in the, in the IJF ones, no repisho. Mm -hmm. uh, that may change. Oh, really? After the squad? It's possible that they may do the, uh, the quarterfinal repisho. Yeah. What the, all right, so what have, what have you heard? Uh, you know, rumor rise, uh, what's being tossed around? Like, what, what's going to change after 2012? Oh, I, I, I don't know because... Um, you can't reveal your sources? Uh, no, it's not a question of <laughs> revealing <laughs> sources. I, I'm, I, I'm a lowly official in the uh, International Judo Federation. I'm not privy to that kind of information. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> but what, whatever it is... Um, it will be as a, as a reaction to, to what they've seen. It's not going to be some kind of invention just because somebody had a, a, a drink in a bar. It will be things that they've, they've seen that they feel that they need to react to. And it's, 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 it's often a tricky thing to, to explain to people. Why did they?